I had to sacrifice an awful lot of things to get where I am today, and that is as per understanding and wisdom of things that don't make me any money, and they certainly don't make my life more pleasant externally, but I do praise wisdom above all else, and I can guarantee you there's probably nobody on this earth that you've ever heard say that. So before making this video, I have to say that on the things that I'm going to actually recommend here, I know, obviously and logically so, that I have failed on a few of these on stuff that I recommend. You know, I would never recommend anybody, you know, be alone in their 50s, which I'm 50 years old, and certainly so not fat, obviously so. I mean, I would have preferred to uh, travel the world and uh, see people. I've been the unpleasant places like Russia. <laughs> I lived there for a significant period of time. Russia is not a pleasant place. Don't take it personally. Ruski narode, nastayashi krepki narode, yeah? Ты меня слышь. So I have to say that I've failed on a few of these. So if you're going to attack me on some of the things that I recommend, it's like, well, you obviously didn't do that. It's like, well, you can't do everything in life, obviously. So everything, of course, is about sacrifices, and we all make choices. But we are not the sum of our choices or actions or inactions, because actions or inactions make up the psychophysical persona non grata, which we are not. And that, of course, is an attribute of wisdom to actually fully understand that. So here's some of the important things of a full life. I'd like to mention, though, that uh, younger generation, what is a younger generation? I'm supposedly Gen X, whatever that is. Younger generation, they're way, way, way more miserable than my generation ever was. I actually didn't grow up, you know, happy, carefree at all. I was I always lived a hyper-serious life, uh, plumbing the deepest, darkest secrets on the nature of the universe, even as a teenager. If I'm lying, I'm dying. So I had to sacrifice a lot to actually get where I am as far as understanding. But I mean, kids these days, I sound like an old person now, like, kids these days, <laughs> the things that you do are not making you any happier. You know, the materialism isn't. Um, this, uh, I've noticed that uh, Females, and I've asked this in many, many live chat streams, like, listen, I, you know, I watch. I said, aren't these people, like, r you know, really, really miserable? It's like, yeah, they are. I mean, just way more miserable. They're, and I'm not interested in actually, uh, you know, implying anybody of the opposite gender do one thing or another, but whatever it is, it, I know this, it, it ain't working. Yeah. I've only ever dated five people in my life. I don't even pretend to be giving advice on dating. I never go to bars. I never tried to date anybody. Everybody actually sought me out of the five people that I've dated. And every one of them was uh, horrible. Even my wife of 10 years. It was just 10 years of absolute hell for all of us. If I'd actually known as a young person that I would be married for 10 years, but I would never have a real wedding or a real honeymoon, which seems impossible. That's just crazy. It's like, yeah, you won't have a real wedding or a real honeymoon. You'll have just 10 years of misery taking care of your wife, slowly dying of cancer. It's like, oh, that sounds pretty horrible. I think I'm going to go, like, sell everything and move to the Bahamas. <laughs> you know, do a menial job living somewhere in Hawaii or the Bahamas. All I need is some books and a simple life. You know, I do a lot of writing. I know a lot of languages, but... Um, People right now are really upset and they're down on the world. And I can tell you this, the more wisdom you have, the more you're able to retract, retract yourself from this world, see the world, kind of like a, a divine comedy or a play, because the entire world is at a, is a, like a play, is like a, something on the stage that you would to go to see. I've only ever seen one play once. I would never go again. That was a mistake. But the world really is like a play. It is like a stage. The Greeks, of course, have been saying this for thousands of years. They're absolutely right. Don't, uh, you could be in the world, but not of the world. And people are, are, you know, I just got done doing a video about how you could actually get a house and a great piece of land for 30,000 bucks. Both a house and a beautiful piece of land for 30,000 bucks. No ifs, ands, or buts. But everybody is just, you know, everybody's struggling to pay the bills right now. Everybody's kind of, and I've asked this question a million times, 
including a live chat stream, and I have uh, many of those same issues. Never learned the stock market. I should have learned the stock market. Everybody's working twice as hard to make half as much, and so everybody's just on edge. You used to see people like pushing their cart through the grocery store, looking at stuff like, oh, I might consider buying that. Now everybody just rushes in, gets bare necessities, gets out. Everybody's living kind of like, um, you know, a war zone, and that's very, very unfortunate, but that has to do with this global reset and the NWO and the WEF and, you know, all the evils that are going on in the world. I can tell you this much, never go into debt. Banks love slavery. It is better, far, far, far better to be poor uh, than look rich with debt. There are people that are like in debt up to their eyeballs, they have a nice gold Rolex and a nice car. Stay out of debt. Uh, the bread and butter of every bank on this earth is turning you and me and anybody they can into a wage slave. Have one credit cards that you use for like car rentals or an emergency product. Wow, I found something great for a hundred bucks. I can resell it for a thousand bucks. Fine, swipe your credit card on that. Uh, that's really what a credit card should only be for. Like car rentals, airplanes, you know, need to book an airplane. And uh, you find something that's killer that you know you can make money off of. You absolutely have to have it. There's only one that exists and there it is and you really need it for your job, so on and so forth. So please, God, stay out of debt. Um, the best revenge against your enemies is to live a happy, full life. I mean, it really, really is. Um, hate just burns you up from the inside out, just like this fire does. The ancient saying, and I think it's from uh, Sun Tzu, and it's accurate. If you sit on the riverbank long enough, not literally a riverbank, sit on the riverbank long enough, they'll see your, you'll see the body of your enemy float by, and this is always the case. So, You can't destroy yourself um, trying to get back at uh, people. A lot of people, uh, they will consume themselves from the inside out, sometimes from the outside in, too, to uh, get revenge against uh, their enemies or their rivals, so on and so forth, and it's just futile. Um, to forgive is divine. I actually never forget hardcore wrongs, you know, things that are unforgivable. But to forgive is divine. But to forget is satanic. Never forget. You can forgive and be the, the more noble person, but you should never, ever forget. Most people, unfortunately, are lying cowards. Um, they'll uh, express lies and they'll come up with a thousand lies to cover up that first lie. And it's far, far, far easier uh, to live uh, in the light and uh, you know a coward dies a million times as also said the uh, the brave and the wise only die once um, unfortunately this world is full of a bunch of spineless jellyfish now and everybody's lying about who they are and what they are I'm brutally honest I know I'm fat bald and tattooed and essentially undateable but I also too know I'm smart as hell extremely wise, never hurt anybody, never been out to get anybody. You know, I don't have it out for somebody. And I lead a simple life. And uh, even though I'm surrounded by computers and I work seven days a week and I'm always busy, busy as hell, I still keep my life kind of simple. And it's best to live like that. Um, also, too, if I could give you the highest recommendation, and, uh, you know, I've been wrong on this for half my life, a little less than half, is that as soon as you can get away from working for somebody, do it. If you're making like half as much money, but you're doing what you love and you're working for yourself and making your own product, it is far better to make half as much money and not be stressed out, worn down, and be under somebody else's thumb. As soon as you can get away, this is the reason why people need to develop skills and find it, what it is they love and or what it is they're good at. Don't piss your life away looking for a high paying job or career. People go in this like, I'm making good money but I work my ass off and I'm miserable and I never have any time to myself or my family. Don't, don't, be, don't be like that. It's far, far better to be right and hated than loved and in the wrong. Like I said, people live in lies. Everybody now is a spineless coward. Uh, ultimately, everybody loves and appreciates nobility and certainly so wisdom. And uh, even though they will never recognize it often, you know, verbally or outwardly, they know what nobility, wisdom, and a rightful, a righteous person actually is. 
This world is for the righteous. It's not for cowards and wimps and lying filth. And you shouldn't say, well, it's an easier life. It's like, yeah, you could slide through life easy, kind of like sitting on a hot frying pan, which represents life. Sit your ass on a pat of butter and slide down from birth to death on that big pat of butter. You know, you can live a righteous life, and it'll be tougher, but a righteous life is always best. It really is. Uh, don't take my word for that, and uh, find out for yourself how true that actually is. You'll find out the hard way. Uh, the demonic and the evil, as far as people in this world, is a huge club. Hollywood! <coughs> Excuse me, it's just one, one, one club. Uh, the demonic are a huge club. However, the wise and the righteous are loners, nearly 100%. It is far better to be right and hated. I mean, it's far better to be, uh, excuse me, <laughs> far better to be right and hated than loved uh, and in the wrong. Um, this popularity contest and uh, social media thing where everybody's trying to, you know, uh, virtue signal on the red, it's just fake. You know, it's far better to be real. It's way easier to live a life that's real, too. Just remember, if it's true, it's popular. I mean, nothing true is popular and nothing popular is true. That's a motto that I actually live by, and it's absolutely true. Young people these days are making a huge mistake. Um, and I don't mean to single out the opposite gender to men, but it is a huge mistake, and I've seen a lot of people come to regret it. Not that I tell anybody what to do. They're sacrificing having a life and family for a career. Trust me, as a person of 50, you know, when the opposite gender, or even men for that matter, you know, you feel like, well, okay, it's time for a family. It's like, oh, like that song, Where Have All the Good Cowboys Gone? <laughs> where Have All the Good Men Gone? Or Where Have All the Good Women? It's like, well, they've all been snapped up. It's, it's gone, you know. The only thing you're left with is like train wrecks and people that are undateable. You know, I'm pretty undateable. I mean, I know I am. You know, physically, right? The tattoos, the bold, the fat, you know. I'm not living in luxury. I've seen people that look a million times worse than me that are highly dateable, but they got a lot of money. <laughs> Apparently, that's the best cosmetic surgery is a lot of money. I, I don't have any of that stuff. I certainly don't. I took the other route in life by being uh, caring about what is actually important, even though it makes my life a lot more uh, miserable and, you know, perpetually uh, trying to pay the bills. You know, you all pick your own path. Don't let other people, you know, make your path for you. Just don't let it happen. But when people are holding out for a family, um, they're holding, you know, sacrificing a, uh, a real life and a family and a career, I hear people, oh, man, one of the worst things I've ever heard, and I th hear it 99% from the opposite gender, from women. Don't take this the wrong way, ladies, but this is extremely ignorant and incredibly stupid to the 10th level. Like, oh, I don't want to believe in believe it. Oh, I don't believe in bringing a child into this world. This world's so much suffering, and it'd just be such a cruel act to bring a child into this world. And oh, it would just be horrible. I would feel so bad for both me and the child if I brought it into this horrible world. That is just, I'm sorry. That's not my opinion, it's a fact. It's one of the dumbest things anybody could say. It's stupid, it's wrong, it's ignorant. It's absolutely bombastically horrific. Now, what, you know, and then you tell people like that to say stuff like that. It's like, well, maybe you should go back in time and I'll tell your mother that. You know, you shouldn't bring that child in this world. Yeah, it's just a cruel act. You know, he's going to suck up oxygen, deplete the Earth's resources of Mother Gaia. Ah! <laughs> it's just so stupid. It is a type of brainwashing. Um, I know a very, very few men that have thought that. I mean, I wished I had kids. I really, really, really wished I had kids. I really, really, really do wish I had a rug rat or two. I'd be a really good father. I know I would. I'd be a really good teacher, too. Um, you know, it takes two to tango, as they say, but, you know, people that think that stuff, it's just so wrong. This never bodes well. It's kind of like when people sacrifice a life for their career, they'll find out by the time that they want to have a life and family and a kids, it's like going in the refrigerator and looking at all of these stuff that like expired months ago and is starting to smell. There's nothing good in there to eat. It's all gone bad or it's gone. 
life has its cycles and its seasons. You know, you can sacrifice everything for the career if that's what you want. But 99.9% .9 of the people I know that do that regret it. They hardcore regret it. Truth. You know, the triangle of truth right there. You're going to regret it. Um, Always avoid people that hate the truth or cringe from the truth. I don't care. Uh, the people that say, um, they don't care what you say. They care how you say it. If you ever run across these people, I do all the time. And I treat them like they are slaves of Satan. It's exactly what they are. They'll say, like, it's, just, it's not what you said. It's how you said it. This is no different than saying, I don't care about the truth. I only care about, you know, the way it was said. These people are people that hate the truth. They're unrighteous. They're ignoble. You avoid them like the plague. It is inherent to their system. They cannot grow up 99 times out of 100. They can't grow out of it. Once they fall into that pit, they are there for the rest of their lives. You can literally give them all the evidence and all the facts, but if they don't like the way you say it, it doesn't matter. I don't care about the truth and facts and all that other garbage. It's how you said it. So evil. Treat these people like exactly what they are. They're demonic. They're never going to change. Reject them. Expunge them. Kind of like... Uh, removing them with an, a giant enema nozzle or something. <laughs> Just get them out of your life. Never, ever, ever listen to any government entity. That's been really poignant these past few years. Safe and effective. Safe and effective. Rock. Safe and effective. Safe and effective. <laughs> I could really be like a parrot. I can't whistle. That's what happens when you eat a grapefruit. Safe and effective. Rock. I would have said this before the past two or three years. Never, ever listen to or trust any government entity. Never. Never trust a bank. A bank's favorite thing is your slavery. Every bank wants you to be there. Don't keep your money in a bank. Keep what you need in there. Don't keep your money in a bank. If it's in the bank, it's not yours. Sure it is. My account's my money. Only technically. If you think that FDIC insured stuff really works, you're not really knowing what's going on either. Never trust a bag. Never, ever, ever trust. There's a few good ones out there. Not many. One in a million. Never trust any hospital or doctor. Never trust the government. Never trust the bank. Never trust a hospital. Never trust a doctor. You don't have to, as one last thing, you don't have to be smarter than other people. You only have to outthink other people. Yeah, there's a huge difference between wisdom and intelligence, i.e. epistemi, empirical knowledge, and wisdom and gnosis. You don't have to be smarter than people. You only have to be wiser. You have to be able to outthink people. Smart people can't outthink anybody, hardly. Sure, I can. I know more facts. My head's full of facts. That is true, but it's kind of like having, you know, these people that have like an enormous amount of tools. They're like these man guys, like, uh, remember Tim the Tool Man, Taylor? <laughs> There's a perfect example, of course, as a fictional character, Tim the Tool Man. He had every expensive tool to man, known to man, but he didn't know how to use any of them. <laughs> this is what intelligence is like versus wisdom. Hey, I got the best tools in the world. Do you know how to use them? Not really. <laughs> you don't have to be smarter. You only have to be wiser and be able to outthink people. So once again, I've failed on a few of these. I know that. You don't need to point out the bleeding obvious to me. I know what my failures are. I'm too fat. I'm bald. That's genetics, however. I, uh, I sacrificed so many things in life to have understanding of all the deep secrets of the universe. And I don't mean that in a hyperbolic sense. I mean it in reality. I sacrificed all the stuff, that the, the things that you take for granted. You know, because I don't go out and I don't socialize with people. I don't, uh, not that I'm against it at all. I love going out and, you know, meeting with people. I did that a couple, few times when I had a meetup in Florida. Whoop. We all met up. We walked around. We talked about a lot of stuff. We ate at the restaurant. And I had a good old time. That was wonderful. I never, ever do stuff like that. 
The only time I ever talk, really, is in one of these videos or in a live stream. I'm never talking. Never. Oh, I sacrificed a lot to get where I am to understand things. Sacrificed way more than I anticipated sacrificing. And in that, I have failed. So, I realize that and I know that. Someone's going to go, it's never too late to change. Yeah, I know. Tell me about it. Anyway, if you ever want to contact me, my information is in the description below this video. Also, too, any donation is always warmly welcome. Or send me an email. Tell me how much you disagreed with what I said. Tell me in a... Give evidences, though. You don't just say you hate me. Just give me a reason why. Like, I hate you because you said beep, 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 and this is what... Hmm. It's a fake pipe. I don't smoke anything, by the way. Let me know. Have a happy week, what little there is left of it.